Hello everyone, Joanne with StampingInTheValley.com and welcome to my craft room this weekend. We are going to be going over the card kits, the free card kits for the month of August. And the only thing you have to do to receive these beautiful card kits from me is order $25 in Stampin' Up! product. That's before shipping, handling, and taxes. You place an online order and um, I will be happy to send you these free card kits. Now, the thing about the card kits is I cannot send you any stamped images so whatever you want to put on the front of this is what you can put I happen to be going with um, the blended seasons uh, this month I absolutely love this it's available to you guys as customers um, right here it is from August 1st to the 31st the blended seasons You've seen me work with the flowers. I just absolutely love those. And of course, on the outside of this card, you can put anything you want. Um, but I absolutely went nuts over these framelits. I had to do something with those for you guys um, for this uh, month. So, and I love the color pencil. So we'll be going through this. This is actually, this is $64.75. You do save the 10% when you get them in the bundle. You don't have to order the pencils. They are separate, but they are just $12.50. And you get beautiful colors. Balmy Blue, Cajun Craze, Cherry Cobbler, Coastal Cabana, Crushed Curry, Flirty Flamingo, Garden Green, Gorgeous Grape, um, Granny Apple Green and Knight of Navy. So that's a wonderful collection and I love to color and I love to paint. As you can see that new logo has a little paintbrush on it. I am just so thrilled with that logo. Now just till the end of the month which is just a couple of days away guys just a few days. This is the promotion if you want to become a demonstrator now's the time. This, you get 10 ink, ink pads to choose from. You get $125 worth of product for $99 plus. This is a $67.50 value. It's 10 ink pads. You get to choose in the ink color, the brights, the neutrals, the regals, or the subtles. You get one complete set of full-size new ink pads. Isn't that fantastic? Even if you just wanted to sign up for the discount and just be a crafting demonstrator and not make a business out of this, this is the time to do it. I've never seen them give away a complete set of ink pads in the five years that I've been with Stampin' Up! So, um, great value there. Uh, till the end of the month, till the 31st of July. Remember, it's buy three, get one free of all of the DSP. Let me hold that up there. If you need to see any of the names and the numbers right there of all that DSP, here's the prices. Okay, here's the names and the numbers for you. You could pause the video and take a look at that, okay? Then the other special <clears throat> is the Paper Pumpkin special. I love Paper Pumpkin. You know I do. And those little baskets this month were just too adorably cute. We made these baskets. We're in our Paper Pumpkin, and it came with these adorable cards. I have a friend that ordered Paper Pumpkin, and then she gave some of the cards as a gift. In a, uh, she sells unique makeup, and so she gave um, one of the cards as a gift. I was so happy that she did that. That made me. Uh, that just thrilled me to no end. So that she did that with her makeup and her product that she sells, and she likes to craft. So she signed up with Paper Pumpkin. But here it is. It's fifty percent off use this code right here bloom0818 um, and you will get 50% off of your first month you must order between July 11th and August 10th I do believe that you will be charged on about round about the 10th of the month okay for this kit so but if you order from me you will receive the two free card kits if you are a downline of mine or a paper pumpkin subscriber every month you receive these two free card kits for um, just being with me. I so appreciate that. So let's talk about this card right here. I love this. I love the leaves. The I'm going to go over how I got that look on the inside of the leaves with you guys. Now, you will get the pieces that we put this card together, and I'll show you that in a moment. But um, the layer is... Uh, old olive at eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter so it opens like this our inside piece is four and three quarter by three and a half this strip right here is um, five and a quarter by two inches 
and our basic black is three and three eighths by four and three eighths and the whisper white that I stamped on is three and a quarter by four and a quarter okay you do receive an envelope of course it's not stamped you can stamp it with whatever you like uh, so you'll get the pieces for this one now let's talk about this lovely card I love this I had to do something for you guys with this stitched framelit I had to I just I absolutely had to because it stitches inside and out let me show you this piece I'm going to send you this piece okay you could do whatever you want with this the piece that I cut out from here for you because I will cut it out for you this is also stitched and I'm going to send that to you this is grapefruit grove the uh, dimensions on this are 11 by four and a quarter scored at five and a half so it opens like this the inside piece again is four and three quarter by three and a half that's about standard for me um, to use that so and then this uh, sentiment comes from a big thank you I find myself going to this a lot guys I wasn't sure if I would or not but um, I find myself using this set a lot uh, so I would highly recommend it um, I really have used it a ton uh, so this is where I got that sentiment from the other sentiment for this card right here does come from the blended seasons right there I love that font on that and the blended seasons is a two-pack stamp set um, this flower is gorgeous but you can stamp whatever you want on the outside okay you don't even have to use those stamp sets if you have a stamp set, you can use the same design, but put something that you have already on the outside. I would love for you guys to order the blended seasons because I think that there is just so much to do with it. Comes with the framelits. These framelits right here, the stitch season framelits. Okay. And uh, so I'm going to cut the card out for you and you will get this piece under here. You're going to get two pieces right here of the flowers. You're going to get three of the new sequence, okay, and you're going to get these little whimsical little things and um, all of these pieces right here. You will stamp your own sentiment, whatever you want to put there. You could say happy birthday, okay, but this is the card, and so when you open it, that's what you get, and that's what you see through the front, and you will get this piece, okay, and then you get this envelope. Now there's two ways that you can color with these pencils and we're going to go over that in just a few moments. So now that we've gotten through those preliminaries, I'm going to be right back. I'll be back with this card and we will put it together on camera. Okay, this is how this first kit will come. You'll get your card stock, okay, and it will already be scored for you. Okay, you might have to run a bone folder over it. You'll get this piece, these two pieces, everything already cut. You could put it together however you want, and then you will get an envelope, a beautiful Whisper White envelope stamping up, okay? So that's how that kit is going to come. I'm using this paper right here, okay? Uh, this is the Regals Collection. Uh, this is the Designer Series paper. It has the polka dots and all the stripes. Now, I will say this. When I run out of the um, Old Olive, I will change the card base and then you, you know you'll have a different color of the DSP right here and when I run out of the ones with the white I'll switch to the green on green right here it's gonna look great also okay um, so yes when I run through this color I will switch to another color like probably pumpkin pie or something like that or you know so I'm just gonna go through this paper stack and however you know that it comes um, I will just pair it up with the same color, of course, of your background cardstock, okay? Uh, but I have a lot of the green, and I'm thinking about ordering another pack of this anyway. So, with all of that being said, <laughs> Uh, what we want to do is get our Whisper White piece right here and I'm going to use my Stamparatus and I'm going to use Stays on Ink because we're going to color and I don't want my ink to run out of uh, the lines okay now if you watched a video before I used a shim on this Stamparatus I had a little cardboard shim but I found from France Martin that the uh, silicone mat works fantastically as a shim so I put this on here I'm a corner person I like to go in the corner I put my um, 
Whisper White there. I'm going to bring my magnet over. Let me take my thank you off of there for right now. What I did with the leaf here is I just put it on the piece that I wanted, just like I wanted it, okay? And then I closed the door. I do not have the foam mat underneath this. Here's the foam mat. I've removed it because we're on red rubber, okay? So I'm going to take my stays on right here. And I'm going to ink this up just lightly because I want to show you. And I'm going to press that down. Now see how it is blotchy. Okay, it's blotchy. Just like that. And that can happen when you just are stamping with a clear block. It really can happen. Um, you know, I always hope that I add enough ink and enough pressure and I don't rock it. So now I'm just applying more ink. And now because I'm on the positioning device, the Stamparatus, it goes right back where it was and right there and I'm getting a darker image each time. You can see that. I'm going to go ahead and ink it up again and close it again. Press it down. And I like that. Okay? See how that is? That came out really, really nice. Okay? I suggest we have stays on cleaner. This is an old stays on cleaner that I had from Hobby Lobby. I'll buy some new when I run out. But I always suggest stays on cleaner when you use the stays on. Okay, see, because it's an alcohol and um, especially on this red rubber and see how it breaks it down. Then you can take this and put it on a clear mount. This is what I do. I put it on a clear mount and then I take it to my... Um, my Stampin' Scrub and I scrub that off and then from there I take it to my chamois and I get any kind of residue off of it. Now I really am enjoying these chamois and then I take this and I go into the dry of the um, um, Stampin' Scrub and I really get a clean stamp. Okay, so that's what I've been doing with my stamps here lately. Now my little thank you, I'm going to put it right here. Let me move my magnet down right there. I've got my old olive. I'm going to close this, let it pick it up. I have my old olive. Now if you order ink, you know you're going to get it in the brand new ink pad design. Okay, so love that and just go ahead and close this and we are good to go there. See how easy that was? And again, I just kind of take this or really what you can do with that ink because it's not the stays on. I just take the chamois right onto the Stamparatus and just clean it and that is one of the most fantastic things about the chamois um, is that you can just go right to the Stamparatus. Love that. Okay, let's close this up. Now, uh, let, and let's take this out of here, just like that. Actually, um, let's go ahead and we have our inside, um, let's see where did I put that. You will receive the insert. Of course, you'll receive an insert. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp that. Um, with the, let's move this out of the way, we don't need it for that, along with the stays on, but I'm going to use the wheat, so let's just stamp that real quick, and again, we're red rubber, so we don't need our um, foam mat, and this should stamp just fine on there, just like that, okay, I love that wheat, I'm going to go ahead and stamp my envelope also, and get this part done. I check my tab. I'm so bad sometimes about stamping and the envelope is upside down. Now, so I'm going to stamp my wheat there and then on the back just like that. Okay. Just makes the envelope and we're going to color that also. Now because this is stays on, again, just add your cleaner. We have it in the annual catalog. Go over to my website at stampinginthevalley.com and it will give you the um, number and how much it is and everything. You could just click on it and order it. So I stays on. 
I chamoised, then I dried on our um I stamp and scrubbed with the stays on cleaner on it. I chamoisied, I dried it, and I come out with a very, very clean stamp. So I'm really enjoying that. Okay, so let's put this away before I get my fingers in it. <laughs> And we'll get this away. Now, I'm, we're not going to do a bunch of coloring together on um, camera, but um, let's see. Here we go. I wanted to show you how to get that beautiful effect with the watercolor pencils. Let me just get all of them out just like that. And we're going to use Cajun Craze, Granny Apple Green, and um, Garden Green. And I think we're good there. Or no, wait, we're going to use Crush Curry. These are the four that I used for this, okay? I can't believe that fall is in the air. So, oh, in the morning it's like, ooh, I feel a little nip, you know? I'm not ready for summer to be over. <laughs> uh, Granny Apple Green right here. And what you want to do, let's talk about the larger leaf right here. And you could do this on all the leaves, and some of them I even, um, I reversed it and I put some on the outside, okay? So wherever you put it is fine, however your imagination goes with it. So you want to take your granny apple green and come into the center of the leaf. Almost like, you know, it's fall and the leaves are drying out. Um, but they still have some moisture right there in the center of it, okay? Then I took the Cajun Craze on that one, and I colored the entire leaf Cajun Craze. Stay inside the lines, but you don't have to get that um, uh, precise with it once you have your outline done. Just kind of color it in like that come around that outline and go ahead and go into that granny apple green just a tad just a little bit let the tips touch it because I'll show you what we're going to do this goes so fast guys <clears throat> really goes nice and fast so I hope you guys like my new header I'm very excited about it I'm very excited about um, upgrading and um, I appreciate all my customers my subscribers to Paper Pumpkin my downlines I wouldn't have thought that I could get to that point without you guys helping me along the way and I do appreciate it let's use an aqua painter this has just got water in it and make sure that your brush is clean get it on some uh, scrap paper squeeze it a little bit let your brush get just a little wet you don't want it sopping wet you want it damp okay just damp then take it and go into your granny apple green just start to blend that color into granny apple green okay stay within that granny apple green okay now clean your tip because it's very granny apple green okay then come into your Cajun craze and go ahead and and go ahead and push your color around you see how the watercolor it's not going outside the lines there because we used stays on so it doesn't bleed outside you know like when the water hits it it just doesn't go bloop and make a blob of color now this is for people who love to fussy color okay now see right in there at the granny apple green don't clean your tip now go ahead and blend with the water blend that out into the Cajun craze okay just kind of pushing color out into the Cajun craze and when it dries you will have a beautiful effect of that just fading out into it okay now another thing that I did here let me put my tip back on is I used my um, let's just do this one right here real quick I used my granny apple green I came in on the inside okay just scribble along that line then I came in with my Cajun cr or, um, crushed curry adding a little bit of yellow to it okay just on the outside 
of that granny apple green. Then back in with my Cajun craze. So here you have three colors and it does look like fall. Just like this. Just coloring. And I love to color and I love to stamp which is why I chose that paintbrush. Okay, just like that. Let's add a little bit more color here. Okay, get your aqua painter. Make sure it's clean. Into your granny apple green and just kind of push it around. Okay, clean it again. A little bit. Get into that yellow. Now don't clean it. Go into the Cajun craze with the crushed curry and kind of touching into the granny apple green. I am not an artist. I'm just, honest to goodness, I just push this color around. The instrument, the brush here, is doing it for me along with these beautiful colors from that Stampin' Up! has and our beautiful watercolor pencils. Okay, now you can see the difference between this leaf is more green on the inside and this goes green to yellow to then brown. Okay, isn't that beautiful? Isn't that fun? That is so much fun. I'm not going to finish this with you guys on camera, but um, we will just, I will just go ahead and put this card together and um, with you guys. I'm so happy with that. I hope you guys like to color like I do. Um, and I like to stamp. So now you're gonna take your base, you're gonna take your DSP right here and use whatever side you want. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, honest. Oop. I'm going, to use, I'm going to keep the white side up just to make them the same. And I'm just going to add some snail here and put this down. But like I said, um, and there's a border around this, so there should be a quarter of an inch. Okay, top, bottom, and around. Just, you know, it's cut so that you have a little bit of the cardstock on the bottom showing. Okay, and this goes like this. Right here, what you're going to do is color that with um, Garden Green. Real quick, we'll do this inside. Garden Green. And that's what I'm going to do the stems of those other leaves with. I just don't want to bore you on camera with all the coloring, okay? So just some Garden Green there. And then the crushed curry up here on the wheat. I think that looks just fantastic up there. And again, I'm not going to really finish it, okay? But I'm going to put it in the card and I'll finish it off camera. No big deal. You can use your aqua painter. It's not going to hurt anything. You're not laying down a puddle of water. That's one thing you don't want to do with the aqua painters. You don't want to puddle it up. Um, you just want it damp and just pushing that color around. So that would be the inside there. And I stamped um, ever so grateful in um, Old Olive because we put our thank you on the front of it. Again, you can stamp whatever you want because yours will come blank. Ever so grateful in Old Olive. Right there, and like I said, I'll finish that coloring. And right here on the outside, we're going to take our leaves right here, little snail. And this black is just an eighth of an inch, which then makes it a sixteenth of an inch border. So it's a very, very skinny, okay, around that part, okay, very, very thin little border, okay around it. And we're going to pop it right here with some dimensionals. Um, and we'll use the full size dimensionals on this one. And just like this. Put one in the middle for sure on this one guys because um, you know there's you have a lot of space. I hope you enjoy these card kits for this month. They they are so much fun. I love making cards. I love crafting. You know that. Um, I love to craft with you guys. <laughs> That's for sure. I look forward to seeing you and sharing my ideas every weekend with you guys. Okay, right here we're going to offset it a little bit to the right. 
just I'm, I'm going to place it on there because I can go back and you know you can really to line this up watch this let me show you before I really stick it down okay to line this up look at these lines here okay and just pick one and make sure that that is even and you're good to go okay I gotta go that way a little bit I gotta go to the left just a little bit on that whoops but if you line it up with the DSP you are good to go I promise right there I wanted to go to the other side of that one mark there we go because you want a little bit showing here so that your black outline you know stays uh, pops along with the black outline of your leaves that's what you're trying to kind of accentuate okay and we have our envelope and our card that's how you put it together I'll be back in a moment with the next one okay we'll start to do the next card looks like this when it turns out or however you want to put it together if you have other ideas with it do it because I think it's fantastic to be creative um, now this is how the kit is going to come so you're going to get your card base I'm already going to cut it out for you I'm also going to send you the piece that cuts out from it we won't use it but you'll have it to use on another project you'll receive three of the adhesive um, backed sequence you'll get your card base here and like I said it's already cut out look at the stitching right there I just had to do that for you guys you'll get a whisper white envelope plain and then you'll get these cutouts also uh, you're gonna get that in that one right there in um, pear pizzazz or um, is it pear pizzazz yes pear pizzazz and this in pear pizzazz and then this in daffodil delight okay these pieces right here so you're going to get all of that in your kit okay and now uh, I want to talk to you about coloring some people like to color like I do I like to intricately color but sometimes I don't and this is another way to use those watercolor pencils so I did this on the envelope I wanted to show you we're going to do this right here on the inside well that's the inside of the card so let's go ahead and stamp that saying okay actually we need to adhere it down first that's what I want you to do is I want you to take this inside part and adhere it in, inside first with your snail or Tombow whatever you want to use okay get that corner okay leaving you a nice border I always like my inside piece with a thicker border I don't know that's just what I my eye likes okay so right there now you're going to be able to see right through there okay just like that now you can take your little um, greenery right here and get some Tombow now remember with the card kits I'm not um, when I mail things to you like this I'm not allowed that's a rule of stamping up to mail stamped images so I have to get created with framelits and punches um, anything that I can really send to you guys so that's why the card kits are the way they are uh, you know more um, of the punch out and framelit type um, deals and just I try to get it to where you can use any type of a sentiment you know with any kit that I send for whatever you have of course I love for you guys to order for me don't get me wrong I really do love that um, but you know well I want you all to be free to do whatever you want to do with your cards so you place this right here at the bottom I close it so that I, I look at my placement I leave a little white space and just kind of make that just like that okay and now I'm gonna get my grapefruit grove and this is the new ink pad love them I'll tell you the more I get used to them the more I love them I took this saying from um, a big thank you I forgot the name of it again you want to close this that's why we adhered that first okay I took this from a big thank you and we're going to place this right in the center here kind of up, mm, mm, yeah in the center right there okay perfect happy with that being behind the camera <laughs> okay now that's it for the stamping on the card actually 
And now what we're going to do, let me get my bone folder in here. See how this is bouncing? Okay, flip it over, okay, where you have a solid surface and really crease it with your bone folder from the center out so you don't wiggle your paper, okay? And there we go. <laughs> it's like, why am I fighting this? Okay, now I'm going to get these little swirls. I told you guys on another video, I just fell in love with these swirls. And I'm just going to put a little bit on the stem because I want them to hang into the, um, the frame. Just a little something different, different element there. And then this same one on this side. And of course, you guys do whatever you want, however you want because your creation is your creation. Like I say, it's happy crafting. I love for people to be happy when they craft. I love for crafting to make people happy. Um, what you want to do with these two elements is just offset them. Okay, like put the little circle together, but just offset it a little bit so you can see both the colors, just like that. And um, what you're going to do in here then is just add a little Tombow right to the center circle, just around the center circle right there, okay? Because that's what touches, okay? Let's do this together. I'm gonna pick this up. And this is so nice with the Tombow. You have that wiggle room to where you can manipulate your element here to get just as much or as little overlap as you want, okay? And that's perfect for me. I just want one to kind of show through the other just a little bit. Now. You want to put two mini dimensionals up top here. One might even do it. I put two, sorry, I put two on the other one. Let's see. We might can really get it with one. Actually, I am going to put one over here. I'll show that to you in just a second. I had to get close to it to see it. Okay, I'm going to put these two right here. Okay, however your flower is, just try to get two on the top and where you don't see it on the other side, of course. Okay, because there is some surface here, but you also want it to hang down. Hey guys, remember, um, if you've ordered from me, and I went back to December of um, 2017 until present, if you have ordered from me, you are going to receive a free holiday catalog. They are coming out. Now place this, because this is on top, right up here, but allow your flower to hang down without your dimensionals. Your dimensionals cannot show back here, okay? Don't let them show, okay? Just like that. So yeah, you guys are gonna get a free holiday catalog, and um, if you are new to me, a new customer, uh, prior to just yesterday, okay? So if you're a new customer, I will then send you one from my home, okay? If you decide to order from me or allow me to become your demonstrator, I would love to have your business um, and I would love for you guys to play around with these cards that I make. Okay, so now the only thing we need to do here is add our sequins and I'm going to send you three of these adhesive back sequins. I wanted to put one right in the middle just to accentuate that flower. Okay, and then one on the inside, right here, kind of off the F of the friends, and then one down here on the outside. Just about there. All right, that is fantastic. Now, now that we have our card together, let's talk about our little washi envelope here, real quick. We are going to use stays on. I have this mounted. This is the other kind of leafy looking um, stamp in that set. You know, we had the wheat, okay? Um, and I'm just going to take the pencils and whatever color you wanted. I used the, what did I use there? Um, let's see, I used crushed curry, okay? On the outside of that envelope. Let's use, um, let's use Cajun Craze. Yeah, let's use Cajun Craze on the outside of this one, okay? So you just take your pencil and on the side of it, just color like that. And it doesn't matter, see that line from the envelope, the seam? Wait till you see what happens when we put water to it. Okay, just come up on your envelope, turn it around, get the back flap, I make that just a little bit bigger. 
Okay, just like that. Get your aqua painter and now just go over this and just watch it just blend into itself and we're going to have to allow it just to dry for a second before we stamp it. Now watch that line. The water just makes it disappear. Isn't that great? I'm going to kind of come out here a little bit with it. Just like that. Beautiful. Okay, so let's, I'm going to blow on it just a little bit. I guess I could even take my heat tool to it if, I, if it was that important, but I don't think so. <laughs> We're going to get the stays on. I'm having so much fun with you guys. Thanks so much for coming in with me here and allowing me to share my ideas with you. I just get so thrilled. Now, this is just stays on on here. I just apply it, and then I'm going to stamp. Okay? Just like that. Now, see, for you guys that don't like to fussy color, something like this, a little wash effect with those colored pencils is absolutely fantastic. Isn't that beautiful on the outside of that envelope? Um, let me just do one other thing with you. And I know this video is long, but you, it has to be so that you guys put everything together. Okay. Let me bring in just a piece of paper and the wheat. Now we kind of like two different colors here, okay? So with the wheat, we're going to use our garden green. And if, you know, this is just a scrap piece of paper, so I'm going to use my garden green, okay, just like that, and into my crushed curry on the top, okay? I'm going to take my aqua painter and go into the garden green with it. <clears throat> Crushed curry, just come up right into it. Don't clean it off, just come right up into it. Let the colors blend together. Take your wheat into your stays on because you know when you're doing a wash effect, you don't have to have things perfect. That's all you're looking for is that wash effect. Let that dry a little bit. And I'm going to come in with this wheat just like that. And look how pretty that is. That is beautiful. We could come up with that um, color on that just a tad. So we just add them, adding a little Cajun craze to the top there. And I'm just going to wash it in. And look at that. Look at that nice effect. Isn't that beautiful? And you can, we could add a little bit more green down here just to pick that up. See, you can just go back to it because the water, because the stays on is not going to go anywhere, okay? And with the water, you're just going to blend. So there it is with a few colors, okay? I just wanted to show you that with these pencils, that that's another effect that is so much fun to do if you don't want to fussy color. You know, some people don't like to do that. And sometimes I don't. Sometimes I really, really like this type of an effect. It depends on what I'm doing with a card. So, um, yeah, I think the both ways are great. I hope you've enjoyed being with me today. Let's bring our cards in. Let me get my mess out of the way here. Let's bring our beautiful cards in. Look what we made today. Oh, fun. Absolutely fun. So I did Daffodil Delight here and um, Grapefruit Grove there. And I finished this, this card off camera. Okay, I finished those and I finished the envelopes for this one off camera just a minute ago so that we could get everything together. But here are our two beautiful card kits for this month of August. I hope you enjoy them and, and I hope you enjoy putting them together. And you also get the envelopes. I hope you like the way that I was showing you how to fussy color and not fussy color. I think that's great, don't you? Look at that on the envelopes. Two different ways to use your pencils. Ah, just fun. Please go to stampinginthevalley.com, click on the big blue button, order any and all of your Stampin' Up! products. Thank you so much for being with me. Thank you so much for everyone, my customers, my downlines, my Paper Pumpkin subscribers, everyone who subscribes to my YouTube channel. I would not be able to up my uh, game here without every single one of you. I so appreciate it and I hope you like my new banner.
Thanks again for watching and happy crafting.